This is CPM Chapter 5, Problem 112. We are asked to differentiate the functions. So first for a, we get y equals negative 2 over x to the third power. And I just rewrote that as y equals negative 2x to the negative third power. And so to solve this, we are going to use the power rule. And so we're going to have to multiply negative 3 by negative 2x, which is 6x, and subtract the power negative 3 by 1, and that is negative 4. So the answer is 6x to the negative 4th power. Next, for b, we get y equals tangent x squared plus 3. And to solve this, we are going to have to use a chain rule because there is a function within a function. The outer function is tangent and the inside one is x squared plus 3. So first we need to find the derivative of tangent. And to do so, I'm going to actually use the quotient rule. So I just rewrote tangent as sine over cosine and, um, and I know that tangent is sine over cosine because of the trig identity. Um, and so we're going to have to take the bottom function, cosine, and multiply that by the derivative of the top function. So the derivative of sine is cosine, and minus the top function, sine, and multiply sine by the derivative of the bottom function. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine. And we're going to make all of this over the bottom function, but we're going to square it. So we get cosine squared. And so I'm going to combine the cosines and sines, and I'll get cosine squared plus sine squared over cosine squared. And cosine squared plus sine squared, according to trig identities, that equals 1. And so um, we get 1 over cosine squared, and with trig identities, again, um, we know that 1 over cosine squared is secant squared, and so the derivative of tangent is secant squared. And so now we're going to continue with the chain rule. And so um, we get secant squared x squared plus 3, and now we need to find the derivative of the inner function. So the derivative of x, um, x squared um, plus 3 is 2x, so that's why we multiply 2x. And so I just rewrote this, and the answer is 2x secant squared x squared plus 3, and that's our answer. For c, um, we get y equals negative 5 x minus 3 to the 8th power, and to solve this we're going to use the power rule again. And so we're going to have to multiply 8 by negative 5, and that is negative 40, and we have to subtract 8 by 1, and that's 7. So the answer is negative 4 x minus 3 to the 7th power. For d, um, the function is g of x equals cosine x over x minus 3 to the 8th power. And so to solve this, we have to use the quotient rule. So we're going to take the bottom function, x minus 3 to the 8th power, times the derivative of the top function. And the derivative of the top function, the top function is cosine x. And so we get, that's how we get um, negative sine x minus the top function, cosine x, times the derivative of the bottom function and that's 8x minus 3 to the 7th power and we're going to make all of this over the bottom function but we square it so that's why we get x minus 3 to the 8th power and that's why there's like a 2 on the outside there um, and I'm going to simplify this and I get negative x minus 3 to the 8th power times sine x minus 8x minus 3 to the 7th power times cosine x and we're going to make that over or that simplifies over to x minus 3 to the 16th power. And to simplify this even more, I'm going to have to factor out um, x minus 3 to the 7th power. And so x minus 3 to the 7th power minus, or parentheses, my, uh, negative x minus 3 um, times uh, sine x minus 8 cosine x. Um, and um, we're going to make that over x minus 3 to the 7th power um, times x minus 3 to the 9th power. And I got this um, because um, I just split apart x minus 3 to the 16th power, so the x minus 3 to the 7th powers can cancel out. And the answer is negative x minus 3 times sine x minus 8 cosine x over x minus 3 to the 9th power. 
Okay, um, so for E, we get y equals x times tangent x squared plus 3. And to solve this, we're going to use the product rule. And so the product rule, it's um, the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. So the first is x times the derivative of the second. And so the derivative of tan x squared plus 3, um, we know that it's secant squared. And we solved um, the derivative of tangent earlier by using the quotient rule. And so um, now we see that um, there's a function within a function, and so we have to use a chain rule. And so the inside function is x squared plus 3, and derivative of that is 2x, and so that's why we multiply 2x. And then now we're going to add this second, which is tan x squared plus 3, and um, we multiply that by the derivative of the first. And the derivative of the first is 1, so we don't actually have to write that um, down. And so I just combined the 2x and x, and I get 2x squared plus, or times secant squared x squared plus 3 plus tangent x squared plus 3 as the answer. And for f, we get g equals 3 cosine t, and to solve this, we're going to use the quotient rule. And so we're going to take the bottom function cosine times the derivative of the top, the derivative of 3 is 0, minus the um, top function 3 times the derivative of the bottom function, which is negative sine t, over um, the bottom function squared. And so bottom function is cosine, and yeah, cosine, so it's cosine squared. Um, and then we simplify this to 3 sine t over cosine squared t. And from the trig functions, we know that sine over cosine is tangent, and 1 over cosine is secant. And so this simplifies to 3 tan t times secant t. And the answer is 3 secant t times tan t.